Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. Stay tuned until the end for a special offer. Hello, dear friends. Thank you so much for watching my latest painting time lapse video, which features the process of how I created my most recent oil painting titled Temptation. A quick little side note as I begin the video, um, this unfortunately has to be censored because I painted a female with an exposed nipple and for some reason, even though it's technically allowed by the YouTube video guidelines, um, YouTube says nudity is okay if it's in art and if it's not for quote unquote sexual gratification, which I hope no one is using my painting for sexual gratification. Um, but yeah, even though nudity in artworks isn't technically breaking any of the guidelines or rules, um, I still run a huge risk of having my video flagged or demonetized or taken down. Um, it's happened to me on other social media platforms. It's happened to a lot of people I know. Um, I am very frustrated that I still have to censor like female breasts in oil paintings. I really don't know why it's such a big deal, but uh, just so that I don't end up wasting all the effort putting this video out, um, I don't want to run that risk. So I have to unfortunately censor the nipple in this video. However, I do have a non-censored version available for you to view um, in various places uh, on my in my art store, my official website, my Instagram. Hopefully that one does not get taken down because sometimes Instagram also removes my posts even though they're not breaking any rules technically. Uh, but yeah, and the last place is on Patreon where I actually have the 60 minute version of this video in a tutorial format and nothing is censored and I go over um, just every single step of how I created this piece along with how I mixed all the colors. Uh, so yeah, if you want to check that one out, it's uppload on my Patreon at patreon.com slash happy artist. Okay, now let's get back to our censored version here on YouTube. Um, as you can see on your screen on the lower left hand side, I did put a little sneak peek of the reference photo that inspired this painting. Uh, obviously there are many major differences. Uh, one is that there is no nipple in the reference photo, but I decided to make this painting extra scandalous and make my editing process extra tedious by introducing a nipple in the painting. Uh, but no, in all seriousness, I did take some creative liberties. Um, I gave her pink hair. I changed up the pose a bit. Of course, I added a bunch of Luna moths and also altered the lighting a bit. I felt like um, the really soft kind of ambient lighting of the photo, while it looks amazing as a photograph, um, I wanted the lighting in my painting to be a lot more dramatic. So played around with a few things, uh, deviated a bit from the reference photo, but I was super inspired by this. Um, this portrait is actually a commission from a wonderful client who, by the way, is super patient and very kind. And uh, she sent me a lot of her amazing modeling shots to choose from. And this water photography shot really stood out to me because it almost seems like the subject is um, seductive and alluring, but not in a purely sexual way. Like she's almost tempting me to fall in love with her, which I guess is kind of where I got the name temptation for this piece. But overall, I would say the process of creating this painting beginning to end was quite challenging for me. Um, I'm really lucky that I had a client as patient as I did and as understanding and kind as she is, because I definitely uh, had a lot of unexpected delays. Not only was I just dealing with a lot of stress and uh, stuff in my personal life, but also I was very intimidated by this concept. I had never done a pose like this or um, painted my subjects kind of half submerged in this milky water bath before and also with the aerial view and um, knowing I was going to make so many changes I just almost didn't even know where to start so I actually made a digital mock-up to test out how I wanted the painting to look before I even started the oil painting process and this was around the time that I was heavily experimenting with digital paintings I was making a lot of pieces in Adobe Photoshop in Autodesk sketchbook and uh, I was getting very familiar with the ease and lightweight nature of digital painting. I'm not saying that oil painting is like so much more difficult and so much more advanced or anything like that, but um, it's just like translating what I was able to conceptualize digitally into 
oil painting, it was not a direct kind of one-to-one relationship. Um, there are just certain lighting effects, certain uh, values, and um, just in general, it looks so different when you have an LED screen or LCD screen versus um, when you have a tangible like wood panel or gesso board panel in front of you that you have to layer on with paint. So um, getting the right or mapping out the right relationship between following the reference photo, following my digital mock-up, and also allowing the painting to be its own piece of art um, so that it wasn't just trying to copy or directly translate the mock-up to to an oil painting. I wanted the oil painting to kind of have its own character and uniqueness as well. Um, That process was also a little bit challenging for me uh, but I'm really glad I did this piece and I'm really glad I stuck through to the end because I hadn't made an oil painting like this in so long and it, it almost was kind of strange to me because I feel like this is my type of art like this is the stuff you guys know me for this is the stuff that um, almost like my signature style and subject matter and my signature medium like I love painting these detailed surreal oil painting portraits of ethereal fairy mermaid women and um, it was just weird having gone so many months without really doing that Um, I'm glad I did take the break though to get get my groove back or to just kind of use art as a lightweight form of therapy instead of trying so hard to put all this pressure to make the perfect painting and I'm glad I did take that break because it kind of helped ease myself back into tackling a painting that is as intimidating to me as as this one was. Um, But yeah, I just really, really missed painting this way. And I missed kind of slaving for hours and hours on end over little details or, you know, breaking my back trying to render the perfect hair strands. Um, There's definitely a delight in losing myself in the process of painting or in being like a mad scientist and trying to uh, render everything to the utmost perfection. There's just something very satisfying to me about it. And uh, I'm glad that I finished this piece and I'm glad that um, it's kind of helped me (sighs) regain some of the confidence and the momentum I had lost earlier this year. Um, I hope that moving forward, I'll be able to continue making more works like this. I am working on another commission. I'm really excited to share that with you all. I've been uh, taping it, so it should be out sometime in the next month or less. Uh, But yeah, in general, I've just really missed oil painting. I've missed oil painting detailed ethereal portraits, and I'm super glad to be back. Oh, okay. I think I am rambling now, so I'm going to wrap up this video before I ramble on even longer. Um, For art materials, if you're interested in getting any of the art supplies I use for oil painting, I have them listed as usual in my video description. And if you're interested in adopting fine art prints of this piece, I do have them available in my shop, uncensored, as well as the product listing. They're both uncensored. Um, So if you want to check that out, you can visit happyd-artist.com. And since I'm still under self-imposed quarantine because I'm too paranoid to go out into the real world, I'm extending my spring sale into a summer sale. So for 15% off of your entire order of prints and originals, you can enter the code SUMMER at happyd-artist.com. And the sale will end August 31st. And if you're interested in learning more about how to paint and draw, I have lots of art educational content on my Patreon page, including exclusive video tutorials, step-by-step photo tutorials, live streams, podcasts, and even surprise art gift boxes. All available at patreon.com slash happydartist. I'd love to have you join my Patreon family. I wanted to quickly thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video and for supporting my channel and the art community. I've actually enjoyed using Squarespace for four years now to build and host my online shop and website. So whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. Start your free trial today at squarespace.com and visit squarespace.com slash happydartist for 10% off your first purchase. Also, if you want to check out more artworks, works in progress, and just random daily artist adventures, feel free to check out my Instagram and you can follow me at the handle at happydartist.